Howdy. Welcome to our faculty staff yoga class, to those here in person and to those on Zoom. I'm so glad you were able to make it today. Um, I see many of you already have a block. If you don't have one and would like one, um, they're in the, the closet, but we can use our blocks for a prop today. If you want to come on to your back or find a comfortable seat, whatever is con convenient and accessible to you today on your back, um, you can have your legs extended, um, feet on the floor, or coming into butterfly like that, or if we're in our seats, just resting our hands on our knees. And just breathing into this space, deep inhales through the nose and release it through the mouth, settling into this space today. Thanking ourselves for being here, for making it. I think that can be the hardest part. Setting aside what happened this morning, our to-do list for this afternoon, for the rest of the week. And just knowing that we're in this space for ourselves for the next 45 minutes. Maybe we want to set an intention for today. Maybe that's a mantra or an affirmation that some of you received here on your card, or maybe that's just a word. Keeping on breathing, remembering yoga is about breath to movement and just really feeling that breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, always coming back to the breath. Letting go of all judgment, expectations, and competition as we move through our practice today and doing what feels right for our bodies, what feels comfortable and what we need today. If you're already on your back, we can stay there. If you're in a seat coming to our back, Inhaling knees to chest. We're gonna roll, inhale and exhale, roll to the, um, the right side, rolling our spine out on, um, on the mat, releasing that spine and a couple rolls on the other direction to the left as we settle into the mat. Inhaling knees to chest, going into our supine twist, letting the legs fall over to the left-hand side. Maybe they come down to the ground. Maybe uh, they hover above, making sure our shoulders are on the floor. And if we want a little extra neck extension, looking over our right hand, our right shoulder. Feeling that nice release. Inhaling, knees to chest. Exhaling, legs fold over to the right-hand side. Shoulders on the ground. Looking over, gazing over that left shoulder. And moving through that a couple more times. Inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, legs over to the left. Maybe we want to hover the knees, the legs over the floor for a little bit of a um, abdominal uh, warm up here. Maybe we wanna bring those legs down, whatever it is for you today, um, whatever your body needs. Inhaling back to center, exhaling right hand side. And moving through that one more time, inhaling center, Exhaling, left-hand side. Inhaling, center. Exhaling, right.
inhaling knees to chest. Placing our feet on the floor in front of us, scooching our heels close to the body as close as feels comfortable. And we're gonna move into a little bit of a bridge pose to further warm up our spine today. Inhaling, lifting our hips off the ground, maybe just a little bit, maybe wherever we are today, maybe you want a little bit of a deeper lift, a deeper stretch, and exhaling one vertebrae at a time to the floor, releasing those hips. Moving through that, a couple more rounds. Inhaling hips to the sky. Exhaling hips to the ground. And one more time, inhaling hips to sky. Exhaling hips to ground. Bringing our knees into our chest and folding over to our favorite side to find all fours. Coming into a flat back, we can either have our feet flat on the mat or if we want a little bit of extra stretch in our feet, tucking our toes under. I know that helps um, release tension in our feet. Moving into cat and cow. Inhaling cat. Exhaling cow. If we want to add some more organic movements, moving a little bit deeper into our hips from side to side as we inhale and exhale, whatever feels good for your body today. Inhaling cat, exhaling cow. One more round, inhaling cat, and exhaling cow. Coming into a neutral spine and finding our child's pose. Maybe that's a wide-legged child's pose today. Maybe your knees are close together. Reaching our hands out in front of us. Maybe we're holding onto a block for a little bit of a deeper stretch. And inhaling and exhaling, exhaling a couple times in this child's pose. On an inhale, coming up, moving into our half series. Knees can stay on the ground. If we really want, we can move into downward facing dog, um, but we're just gonna be warming up a little bit here. So we're in plank and we're gonna exhale into our chaturanga, elbows kissing the sides of our body. As we lower to the floor, we can tuck our toes, Lift our hands off the ground for a little stretch in our back. And exhaling back to child's pose. Inhaling to plank on our knees, or if we want to um, find downward facing dog. Exhaling chaturanga, elbows kissing the sides of the body. Inhaling. Cobra, hands come off the ground, exhaling, child's pose. Moving through our half series two more times at our own pace and our own breath. Finding child's pose together when we're when we finish cycling through and coming into our first downward facing dog of the day. 
maybe pedaling out our feet, releasing those heels, shaking our head yes and no, releasing that neck. And on an inhale, walking our feet up to our hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, chair. Either bringing our hands to prayer pose or extending our arms out, whatever feels good for us today. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. And coming back to downward facing dog. Inhaling, plank. Either full plank on our hands and our feet or coming to our knees. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Maybe it's a micro bend. Maybe it's a full on, full on upward facing dog and exhaling downward facing dog. Walking our hands to our feet as we inhale. And coming to our um, extended mountain pose, inhale, exhale, we find chair. And then we forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, downward facing dog, and moving through that sequence, so some salutations two more times at our own pace and our own breath. And when you're ready, finding our downward facing dog, wherever you might be, no rush to get there. And dropping into child's pose whenever we're ready. And I'm gonna hand it over to Emma. Staying in child's pose, or if you want to, you can meet me back in downward facing dog. Maybe checking in on how your calves, your hamstrings are feeling. We're gonna move into some core and strength work. So from here, from our down dog, or if we want, we can lower our left knee to the floor. We're lifting our right leg to the sky for that three-legged dog. Just testing it out here, maybe seeing how it feels with one leg lifted. And then let's lower the right leg and lift the left leg. Once again, you can always lower your right knee, the opposite knee to the floor. Excellent, left knee comes, or left foot comes down. Right leg lifts. Once again, we're gonna move from here. Let's bend our right leg and drop the hip, wrapping it up and over behind the left. So your option here is your left knee down. Nice little hip release, moving through some hip and core work from our down dog or our all fours here. As we inhale, bringing the knee back to center. Exhale, pull the knee forward, shift into your plank, maybe hovering that knee over the floor. Inhale, send the leg back up to the sky. Exhale, this time we pull the knee to the opposite elbow. We can lower the knee to the floor or we can cross it over, opening up into our side plank or star pose. Your option is that knee down, 
in your side plank right here. Right hand down, left arm to the sky. So the knees on the floor or the leg reaches through. One more big inhale. Exhale, left hand down, send the right leg back to the top. Beautiful, as we exhale, pull the knee forward, find your lunge position. Nice low lunge here. You can lower your left knee to the mat if you'd like. Maybe checking in on how your hip is feeling. From here as we exhale, shifting back into a little hamstring stretch. Now you can stay here in your hamstring stretch or if you wanna move through this a little bit, inhaling, shifting forward, bending the knee, exhaling, shifting back. Just a setting, little hamstring hip warm up here. On your next inhale, we'll shift to find that lunge position where the hands frame the foot. We tuck the toe, lift the left knee, come up into our nice high lunge. We're finding our balance here. Hands can come to heart center or arms can float up to the sky. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Excellent. Can we take an inhale to straighten the right leg, reach up tall. Exhale, pull the shoulders back and down, cactus arms. Two more times, inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Last time, inhale. Exhale, open. This time we bring our hands together to heart center. Step this left foot in to find a warrior one stance in our legs. We're hinging at our hips, nice long spine, finding humble warrior. Arms can stay where they are, or if you'd like, maybe floating them back behind you, squeezing the shoulder blades in, finding a nice long spine. So if we have mirrors around us, we can see our head is above our heart, our shoulders are squeezed, shoulder blades squeezing back and down, and our core is nice and strong. Holding here for two more rounds of breath, maybe enjoying a nice little stretch in the left calf. On our next inhale, floating the arms back to the front. We're taking the hands to the floor or the block. I'm gonna find my block here. If, and if you're at home or in your office, maybe a book. We lift the left leg, finding standing splits. Little balance here. Maybe assessing your ankle stability today. We can always tap down the left foot for more balance. You're welcome to stay here in your standing split. If you'd like to explore balancing half moon, that's where we're moving. So we're lifting the left leg up. We wanna find external rotation in this hip first. That means rotating the top hip, the left hip above the right hip, squeezing the left glute. And I like to lift my left hand. Maybe you can even place it on your hip if that helps. Noticing they're stacked. And from here, if we'd like, the left arm can float up and we can take our gaze to the left side of the room. Using our block, book, water bottle, whatever it may be, to bring the ground up to meet us where we are today. Taking one more round of breath here. As we exhale, we reach the leg back behind us, hands meet the floor for our low lunge. Right leg comes back into your three-legged dog. Option here as we exhale, opening that hip one more time. You can stay here if you'd like to explore flipping your dog today. You're bending your left knee, right foot comes down. Ooh, and we lift up. I know, I know, craziness today, right? Coming back to your three-legged dog if you're not there. And then releasing the right foot, downward facing dog. Option to stay here or move through your half series. So that series that Sarah led us through, if we'd like, plank or chaturanga into your cobra or up dog and then back to your down dog. Moving through our sequence on the other side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, we bend the knee, let it wrap and fall, feeling a little rotation in our thoracic spine as well, our mid spine, our low back. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, the knee pulls to the chest, hovers over the mat. Feel the core muscles engage. Exhale, send it back. This time, inhale, opposite knee, opposite elbow. We can lower this knee to the floor, take the foot out, or cross it through, opening up into our star pose. 
I told you there was a little more core today, right? So we're using our obliques here. This knee can always be down, lifted up. One more big inhale. Exhale, release the right hand. Send the left leg back to your three-legged dog. I gaze to the top of the mat. As we exhale, we pull the leg forward and through for our low lunge. Option to lower the knee. Inhaling to your lunge and then exhaling to your nice hamstring stretch. Option to stay here or flow these with your breath. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. And again, just moving through this at your own pace. Taking this time to assess the other side of your body, maybe noticing any differences. On your next inhale, finding your lunge, bending your left knee. We lift the right knee, come up. High lunge, finding that balance. So core is always nice and strong and braced. Back heel is lifted and our knees are bent to give us a nice little stretch in the hip flexor. Inhale, arms float up to the sky. We lengthen the left leg. Exhale, squeeze the shoulders back, lift the heart to the sky. Can you lift tall and then sink down and grounded? Squeezing the shoulder blades in last time. Hands come into the heart center. We step the right foot in for that warrior one stance. Excellent, left knee is bent. Taking an inhale here as we exhale, hinging from the hips, long spine, arms can float back behind us. And we can also place them on our thigh for support, just being mindful of our knee, whatever feels best. Squeezing the shoulder blades back, feeling that strong posterior chain connection here. One more big inhale, arms float forward. Exhale, hands meet the block, the shin, the floor. We lift the right leg up, standing splits. Finding our balance here. Staying here, or if we want to explore that half moon, first step, squeeze and find heat in your glute on the right side. Lift a hip, external rotation. Right hand can lift, eye gaze can lift, toes point to the right side. That's how we fire up the side glutes, the external rotators. And then the right arm lifts, if you'd like, it stacks over the left. Ardha Chandrasana. One more big inhale. Exhale, come back to your standing splits. Look to your, the back of your mat, step back. Three-legged dog, left leg goes high as we inhale. Exhale, wrapping that leg around, staying here or flipping your dog. Now, if you wanna try flip the dog, you can always bend the left knee, let your right toes down, little squat, and then lift up to your wild thing. Inhale, come back to center, left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay. Excellent, staying here. Coming to child's pose or moving through your half series. Y'all did so good on that flip the dog. Awesome. All right, so from our down dog today or child's pose, taking a few deep breaths here and just turning to face y'all. Can we inhale our right leg high? Exhale, pull it forward and through. Find that low lunge once again, but walk your hands to the long side of your mat. So you're in that wide leg straddle split position. We can always find our block to bring the ground up to meet us where we are. Bending the knees right and left. Checking in with how your inner thighs are feeling today. When you're ready, finding some stillness in this, you've got two options for a little deeper stretch. You can take your heels out, toes in, letting your forehead come closer to the mat, maybe walking your hands through for that deeper stretch, hamstrings, hips, or if you'd like, you can take your toes forward, heels right behind the toes, maybe walk the feet in a little bit, and then walk the hands forward, 
pressing the hips back for a wide leg down dog. So the biceps still come right by the ears in our wide leg down dog. Maybe our whole foot's on the floor in this wide leg down dog. And feel free to try out both. Taking a few deep breaths here. Just getting ready for some more hip opening work. When you're ready, walking your hands back into the center, placing your left hand at the center of your body weight or on your block, bracing through your core here. We rotate through the mid spine, right arm lifts to the sky, or it can come to your low back. So getting a nice bit of rotation here in our spine. Taking one more inhale, exhaling, we come back to center. Switching sides, right hand is in the center of our body weight here. Keeping our hips square by bracing, the left arm lifts or can come to our low back. Left shoulder stacked over the right, maybe taking the gaze towards the ceiling. One more inhale, exhale, release. Walking our hands back to our right foot, we're coming back into our low lunge. Excellent, from here, Sending that left or right leg back to the sky for our three-legged dog. And this time as we exhale, we're pulling the knee forward and through, meeting in pigeon pose. A little more hip opening today. Remember our first step in pigeon pose, we want the top foot on the left foot to be down on the mat, the top of the foot. Look behind you, make sure the leg's straight, and then maybe walk the foot back a little bit. That's gonna get your hip closer towards the floor. Staying here on your hands is gonna get more hip flexor. If you want to target more glutes on that right side, you can lean forward, maybe bringing your forearms to the mat or to your block. Or my personal favorite is to place the block underneath my hip. If it's a big enough block, these littler ones don't really do the job as well, but a pillow actually works really good or a ball, little ball, squishy ball or something like that too. From here, taking our eye gaze towards the mat or maybe closing our eyes and just breathing, breathing into our hips, our lower body. Maybe relaxing the muscles in the face and the jaw. When you're ready, we'll slowly walk back up to our hands. Finding ease in this transition and pose. I like to lift my left knee first, toes on the mat, hips lift, coming back to downward facing dog. Getting a nice little release in the hips, the resetting of the hips, and moving into our other side. We inhale our left leg high, Bracing through the core as we exhale, we pull the knee forward and through, finding that pigeon pose on the other side. Remembering that we always have the option to bring it around to a seated figure four in this position as well. Or we can come into that nice hurdler stretch right here to whatever works for us. Especially if we feel any knee pain or tension.
Taking two more rounds of breath here. When you're ready, walking back up to your hands. From here, all we're doing is shifting our hips over to that left hip and turning towards the long side of our mat. So we are actually gonna come into a hurdle stretch or a Z sit in Pilates. From the front, it looks like this. There you go. Yeah, if you want to either side, we're gonna move between the two sides. So you can have your right knee bent in the front, left leg back. I want us to inhale our arms up to the sky and then let's exhale, turn over the right side. Just finding a little twist, maybe seeing how our hips are feeling. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let's twist to the left. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands come to the mat behind us or just under our shoulders. We can kind of lean back into our hands here. We're gonna lift our knees up and shift our hips over to the other side. So whichever leg you have forward, you switch. And we can just move between these back and forth. Maybe inhaling to come center, exhaling to switch. Wherever our hand position is, making sure it's not too much tension on our wrists. Seeing how this feels for us today. And then maybe trying to see if we can take our hands off the mat. Ooh, little internal external rotation assessment. And then I'll give you one more option if you want to, as you come into your position, pressing up onto your knees. Coming back down, shifting around, pressing up, and coming down. I don't know about y'all, but if you're coming off your mat, you can always shift to resist. Remembering that we can keep this wherever it feels best for us. So we can stay with our hands on the floor. These are all just different options. Doesn't matter where we are, we're still getting the same amount of work. Let's take one more round on each side. And then as you're ready, we'll bring our legs to the front of our mat, swinging them around. Awesome. From here, lengthening the left leg, keeping the right knee in as we use this leg to round through our spine as a break, lowering slowly onto the mat. Excellent. Rolling out the ankle, maybe giving yourself that little internal external rotation. We've got one last hip opener before we bring it to our last and final pose. From here, let's bring both feet in on the mat. Knees are bent. From here, you have a couple options. You might want to find your block. I like to use my block here, but it's up to you. Left foot is on the block. Right knee comes into the chest. We flex through the foot for that figure four position, almost like our pigeon pose stretch. This time our arms come out into that T pose and we slowly let the legs drop over to the left side with that right leg on top. So the right foot, or sorry, left foot might touch the ground. And if you're like, Anna, oh my gosh, this feels terrible, then just uncross the legs and keep it in your spinal twist, lettering them fall all the way to the ground. This leg on top is just a different variation. Taking two more rounds of breath here. Nice last little bit of spinal release. When we're ready, we can tip our hips back to the center using the left leg, and then we'll just switch and release. 
Before we switch, maybe bringing the knees into the chest, rocking side to side to reset the hips here. And then from here, we'll take our right foot either to the floor of the block, left foot crosses over. We can always stay right here or arms can come out into the T position as we exhale slowly lowering over to our left side. Remembering that in yoga, there's so many different variations. I always say the yoga buffet, take what you want from it, right? So you can pick which version of the pose feels best for you. Remembering that we can uncross our legs here for our spinal twist if that feels better for us. With your next inhale, let's slowly bring our legs back to center. We can set our block off to the side. We'll bring our knees into our chest, grabbing under our hamstring or on our hamstring, under our knee, little rock side to side. Last pose before we bring it to our final relaxation. From here, we're taking our right leg up to the sky. We can grab onto the outside of the foot as we press that leg up to the sky or take our first two fingers, loop them around the big toe and take it out to the side for our single leg. Happy baby. My personal fave. Maybe grabbing onto our left leg and switching. Right knee comes in, left leg extends. Just last little bit of release for the low back especially anyone dealing with any sciatic nerve pain. Keeping the knees nice and soft and maybe just moving side to side. If you want to move, move into full happy baby, that's an option as well. Staying here as long as you'd like. Whenever you're ready, we will move into our final relaxation. You have a lot of options. The goal is just to find what rest pose feels best for you. Your feet can come onto the floor, knees in, bent, legs extended, feet together, knees open. You can lay on your side, on your belly. Whatever feels good for you to bring yourself back to that calm and relaxation state. Maybe closing your eyes if that feels good for you. Shifting your focus inward once again, which oftentimes closing our eyes does. We can focus on how our body's feeling versus any external senses around us. Becoming mindful. Maybe thinking about our affirmation statements if we're in class today we, on our cards. Maybe thinking about our deep three-part breath, inhaling deep from the belly up into the chest and exhaling from the chest back down to the belly.
And take all your fingers and toes, just bringing that awareness back into your body and your space. Whenever you're ready, you're welcome to bring your knees into your chest, rolling over onto your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow, just readjusting the blood pressure and heart rate. And then making your way back up to a seated position, using your arms to press yourself up. We'll inhale collectively one more time together as we sit up nice and tall, arms reach up and overhead on your inhale. And then exhale, bringing your hands back to heart center. The light in me honors, sees, and observes the light in each and every one of you. Thank you for being here today. All right. Awesome job, y'all. If that is all I have for you, uh, if you're here in person, we have wipes in the corner to clean off your mats. If you put them back where you found them. For friends on Zoom, thanks for joining us. And we'll see y'all next time.